The U.S. Navy plans to use inflatable cylinders to lift a jet plane off a coral reef in waters off Hawaii and then roll it over to a runway that the aircraft overshot when it crashed into the ocean last week, an admiral said Friday. Rear Admiral Kevin Lennox, who is leading the salvage effort and who is the commander of Carrier Strike Group 3, told a news conference he's confident the operation can be carried out without further damaging the reef, the P-8A crashed into the reef in the environmentally sensitive bay about 10 miles from Honolulu on November 20. None of the nine people on board at the time were injured. The Navy is investigating the mishap. We'll float the aircraft to the shoreline at the end of the runway. Uh, we will roll the aircraft across the, uh, the sea land interface onto the, the runway, and then once the airplane is in place on the runway, we'll settle it down onto its landing gear. So roller bags, they're large inflatable cylinders. Um, the bag part creates buoyancy in the water, so it's inflatable, lifts the aircraft up, and then on land, that's where the roller part comes in. Um, they keep the aircraft separated from the land. The aircraft will move on top of those rollers the whole time without the landing gear or anything touching anything until we set it back to, uh, down at the place where we want to uh, set it on the piano keys at the end of the runway. Not, not guaranteed, but we, we are considering that, uh, that possibility. These bags are... We have high confidence that, we, that we'll be able to execute this whole thing with no further impact um, to the ecosystem here. Um, once it's settled into its final parking spot, the aircraft will turn back over to Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Wing, and they will be able to, be able to begin the process of doing the assessment and a repair on that aircraft, and if feasible, the Navy plans to return that critical asset back to operational status.